Oh, I thought I put it on BRB. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oops. Uh... Okay, well, uh, let's go. By the way, uh, if you guys have never played a Remedy Universe game before, uh, these games are all connected loosely in uh, some way. So they're all in the same universe. Control. The number one killer Alan is time. A. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Oh, my uh, light is not on. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. Right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. Hang on, uh, real quick, maybe... Uh, gameplay? Mouse sensitivity? Just a, just a little bit? How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. That's better. Enter the university courtyard? Hey, you take action now! Oh, Jack! Oh. Just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Hey, you take action now. Monarch Solutions wants to tear down the pride of Riverport University, the beautiful and historic library building generations have studied in. This is a part of our heritage, but they don't care. Are you going to put up with that? Of course you aren't. Are you going to take action? Of course you are. First of all, go online, use hashtag save the library and get loud. The only way they'll stop if they look bad enough doing it. Secondly, uh, join our protest at the university on October 8th. Let's show them that there are still people left in Riverport who give a crap. Locate narrative objects in the world to immerse yourself deeper in the story. Review previous coll uh, collected narrative objects inside the game's timeline. Okay, okay. Towards the physics building? Oh, he saved a library. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big-ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. <laughs> Babe, can we go home yet? Call it a night. There's nobody left to convince. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. 
You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <sighs> Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well... If you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. <laughs> now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in scientist? theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles. Hey, it's Dominic Monaghan. known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. Interesting. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Welcome to Project Promenade. Shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You uh, are looking at the biggest <laughs> discovery of our time. I got the. It's uh... impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I yeah, need but... someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. I already yeah, love the atmosphere. I had a hunch. When you're like, I love, I love remedy games. I'm obviously a bit, very big fan. Control is one of my favorite games of the last decade. Uh, and Alan Wake is just absolutely awesome. So, like, I'm already, like, getting, like, <laughs> excited. Brother found out the scope of what we were building here. He... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers. All with no evidence. It works. 
but they're going to cut our funding if I don't prove it. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, <laughs> somebody's got to keep tabs on you. Monarch is playing double the wages we are. It would be an absolute nightmare. Staff is irreplaceable. Known William really Joyce's since childhood. There's no doubt that he's a genius, but he also has a history of paranoia and mental, mental instability. Lost sight of the big picture. His concerns were regarding Project Promenade or Atlanta. Sean founded him based on ludicrous conjecture. The only reason we pulled Wills in as an advisor because there is no other qualified specialist available who the investors will trust to sign off on the project now that Dr. Kim is gone. Can't just wait for the board to find a suitable replacement because there are none. Kim approved these figures long Jack, before his death. Come on. I refuse to let Will sabotage everything we're building here. I need you to keep the investors distracted. Buy me time before a financial or a final decision is reached. I'll find a way to gather the proof we need in order to proceed to beta testing. Give me 48 hours, I'll make this right. I was reading your emails, Jack, dude. You know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Uh, Jack Joyce. Pack my things and head to the airport ASAP. Whatever, whatever this is about, just make sure Will doesn't know I'm coming home. Uh, not the kind of baggage I need to unpack right now. Uh, to Jack Joyce, I uh, just booked you a flight from Bangkok to Riverport. First class taxi will be waiting for you. Can't tell you any more over email. You just saved my life. These aren't the ideal conditions for a reunion, but I can't wait to see you again. Almost two decades as friends, not once. Have you ever asked for help? This must be bad. Are you okay? What kind of trouble are you in? Uh, I'm here for your man currently in Bangkok, but I can't find a way to Riverport uh, as soon as possible. We'll wait by computer for further details. Uh, am I reading backwards? I think the last person who would need your help. I've been built here my entire career. It's all risk. I only have 48 hours. Uh, that's borderline creepy. Best of luck finishing up the project soon. Jesus, this is a long ass thread. I keep the photos. My phone background, your noble, noble protest still provides me with inspiration. You never let that one go, will you? Will's in good hands. Don't worry, I'll stop wearing the watch when you stop stealing fugly ram statuettes from souvenirs from police stations. What the fuck? Uh, money bags. Navigating my way through Vietnam, heading back to Thailand in the near future. Hope you're keeping that fun stack because I'm bound to make some bad decisions along the way. Actually, I got in a little bit of trouble down that way already, but I think it's all sorted now and nobody made the mistake of calling the cops. How's the high life? Saw an article on you recently, top 30 entrepreneurs under 30. Uh, still wearing that ridiculous overpriced watch I see. About Will, what can I really say? Clearly I'm not the expert on dealing with my brother. There's a reason we haven't talked in six years. The best advice I can give you is this, lose the watch. Uh, it's been too long. You ever coming home for a visit? The ocean sewage musk of Riverport isn't luring you back yet. What's the latest? Where are you now? I'm guessing you're squatting in some Buddhist temple making uh, feng shui bracelets and brushing up on your bike room. Uh, cultural ignorance intentional to aggravate you. Uh, still waiting for the day I get the call that you need me to bust you out of some shady Thai prison. Got a fund on... Stand by for your inevitable fuck ups with the law. What the hell? All serious though, I uh, hope you're doing well. Think of you, thinking about you, miss you, man. This is going to come as a shock. Remember that big project I told you I'm, uh, I'm heading at the university? They want to bring in your brother as a consultant for the final stages. We're going to read a lot more about our project once it goes public very soon. It'll be hard to avoid the buzz. We know William can be difficult. Any advice on how to best deal with him? So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. <laughs> Destination input date? What the fuck? I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable.
That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Definitely didn't feel like that. <laughs> are you sure it's supposed to do that? The figures are all stable. It's the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, <laughs> two, one. Jack. What? You didn't say zero. Come on, man. We need ground rules for this Okay, things. you turn. I'll follow. Close enough. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. Fucking wicked. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. And this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Alright, well, I guess we're hitting the fucking switch. I got, like... Once, like, the things, like, started shifting, I'm like, oh, this feels very much like control right now. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. That's... Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> what? How... It's, <laughs> it's fine. This is the rupture, isn't it? It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future. But is, self. isn't it in the past? We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. Do what he just did? <laughs> and what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. 
We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh, no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack. You have to trust me. Or what? Oh, no, I gotta let you out. My time! Is he on the ceiling? Oh, okay, no, no, no. I thought he was on the ceiling for a second. I was like, what? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. How the... Fuck. What do I even do? What the fuck is this? He broke. It should have worked. Can I not use this? Okay. Is this really happening? Where am I going? Oh, okay. What the hell? Oh man, this is so spooky! This is crazy. Well. Well. There was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Hurry! Who are those guys? Fire! What the hell? Hurry! This way! Nope. Oh, something just happened. Jack. Your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! 
Oh shit. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it... It must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, what I just did back there, what the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time <laughs> is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. Time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. Maybe I should punch it with my weird help. hands. Stand back. I'll get it open. What? Come on. HQ. Securing the server. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out. Shh. You Dude, uh, I'm so digging this already. This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Backups on route to flush him out. You don't know. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even? Jack, you weren't here. A lot happens in six years. It's bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. Better at the door thing. Wait, didn't a piece of glass just break? Oh shit. Will, get out! Oh god. Target's armed. Opening fire! Oh, him down. Yeah, I noticed. Jesus. Go, go, go! Jack. Weapons free! Will, stay down. Put down the gun, Joyce! Then stop fucking shooting at us! God damn it! Move it! Will, are you okay? I think so. But Jack, that was. I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. 
Paul was positive that the experiment would work. That the uh... figures were correct. Because his specialists were a bunch of goddamn idiots. Their formulas were missing these variables entirely. You're seriously making corrections right now? Well, if they made them in the first place, we wouldn't be here. You just initiated a quantum ripple. Watch the next episode of the show to see the consequence of your action. Uh-oh. Yo-ho, Alex Croft! What's up, dude? Is there anything else in here? Not good. This is not good. There's the elevator to the lobby. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Where is everybody? I don't like it. You heard the gunfire. Something's gone wrong. Hey! The other Joyce is here too! Take it down! These guys are working hard. God damn it! You for me! No, 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 no! acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Raider team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. Uh, I remember hearing about this game. Is this the start? Yeah, we literally just started we the game like go to your car. 10 minutes ago. Monarch could be expecting that. 20, we have to, Jack. Ago? It's important to fix the fracture. I. So just to cut you up real quick, Alex, uh, my character gets invited to... A physics lab at four in the morning to help start an experiment to save like the department or him or uh, this one guy is played by Aiden Gillen and uh, then they like turn on the machine and uh, time gets fucked up and Dominic Monaghan shows up to like stop everybody because they, they, they say he's crazy but he might not really be crazy uh, and then time like tears and then like yeah and then like all of a sudden these like monarch uh, like crazy, like armed guards show up and we're now breaking out. I need, we need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken, fine. But now you're saying we can fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stutter. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Wait, where's this rifle? Uh, I'm going to be working in conjunction with the Prowler Squad for the duration of this operation. Martin Hatch assures me that you already know your roles. Uh, Bandit Squad, Prowler Squad, Raider Squad, uh, Apprehend Jack and Joyce, Eliminate you don't if not. Be when the stutter collapses. Oh boy. Oh, the rifle. Yoink. Where's your car? This way. Dude, this is so cool! Look at this. She's terrified. Come on. Yeah. What are you doing? Look at them all. I'm gonna get her moved. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? She's not in freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? 
I don't know. It may have to do with Krona exposure. They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was going to happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. What if we can't explain in the car then? Through this door. Oh, Jesus. lot oh god that's it's okay okay will calm down okay i'll take care of this i'll i'll fight my way through i'll get the car and i'll bring it around are you sure you can handle this no are you sure you can <laughs> fix time no then we'll call it even oh man this is so cool already i'm fucking loving this uh i guess can't go through there here you'll need the keys Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. Uh, press V to activate time vision. Uh, time vision deactivates when you move? What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably four or neutron or some shit. see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God I'm not too late. But that's... I'm seeing the past. I hope to God I'm not too late. There we go. Something clicked. Oh, shit. I could reach out and stop time in a focused Get area. Me. You don't know what you're doing. Well. Fuck. They're coming from where I left Will. Who do you I swear to God.
do this. Oh, he's all the way back there. Taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. Ooh, a lady. It's more complicated than. But who is she? She works for Monarch, obviously. Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will. I gotta get to Will. It's supposed to take William, William Joyce, alive Joyce alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Up a fight. Please, Please, let me go. Let me go. I can I shut can the shut hell up. The hell up. But just shut just the shut fuck up, up, all right? All right. Boss, said Boss said to take, take him to the library. To the library. He wants to deal to with this one first. first. This asshole, asshole to the library? To the library? Airlift's, Airlift's already initiated. Already. He should be gone by now. The time machine. You taking the time machine? Hey, hey. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't have breaking immersion for it. What? Oh, is he gone? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. Two, just after time dodge to trigger focus time. Open for choice!
I'm having a fucking great time right now, man. <laughs> I'm fucking. Okay, gotta get to the library. Oh my god, that was dope as fuck. Um, wait, what was Ovi? This game is awesome, man. <laughs> fucking remedy, man. There's so there's such Why great game developers. What the hell? To return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Waiting How did they get that over. like well, barrier up? Oh, never mind. They took him to the library. I never gotta mind, find no a way in. I gotta get to him fast. There's gotta be another way in. This game needs microtransactions. NFT these nuts. Where did that come from? Well, here I thought it was going to be a quiet night. But it sounds like things have taken a real bad turn down at the anti monarch protest at Riverport University. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I've just heard about security personnel in the employee of Monarch Solutions detaining students. And some reports of gunfire. Now, I don't want to jump the gun here. This is unconfirmed, and obviously I don't know the details, but no matter how you slice it, it sounds like a bad scene. You know I'm not a big fan of Monarch or how they do things, but at the same time, I hope nobody's going overboard with this protest thing. It's just a goddamn building, people. It ain't worth anybody getting shot over. Although, if they are shooting people over it, that's some heinous bullshit right there. Either way, I've got a feeling this is gonna get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Stay safe, people. Is that a radio station? Like, what is... That looks like a way up. <laughs> Come on, I don't have time for this. Slow that thing down somehow. Hold on. Wait, I thought I, thought I did freeze it. What the? Oh god, it scared the shit out of me. Um. That's what I thought was gonna have to happen. happening at once, man. Holy shit. Uh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> get got, son. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the brother is. Hey, I recognize that guy's voice. That's the, uh, head of security and control.
I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Oh, yeah, to hurry. Where's my car? This I didn't like the color. So Let's enjoyable. Get a new one. What? Oh my god. No, Jack. I need them. The fuck? Hold that thought. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. I was a little busy getting kidnapped. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. It's time to come up with one. Wait, what? I think they changed their minds. She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. How does she know about it already, though? The fracture didn't happen until, like, literally, like, 20 minutes ago. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that. She got case. spoilers. Let's go, dude. Let's move before more of them show up. Jack! What the fuck? This guy works with him? Paul? Huh? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. Was what are you nuts. doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it. For 17 years. 17, 17 years? years? It was you. The first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. He's little finger betrayals his own. True. Stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait. Trigger. I never wanted this.
play a little bit more. Play a little bit more. Dude, this game's fucking awesome. Holy shit. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. Hey. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. Lance Reddick, let's arrived go. should here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. So this <laughs> got spoilers too then? You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage. Wait, I gotta play him now? Now I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. Potentially turn on Monarch. Sir. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. Serene. But that leaves us with the, the loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind. The men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Uh, of course. William Joyce dossier. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved. But his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. Uh, project consultant for Project Promenade witnessed a core heist operation. Capture alive if possible, delivered a Paul Serene. Strange brother of Jack Joyce, a uh, renowned physicist, pr uh, proposed the existence of Cronon Field at age 19. Invented first time machine prototype, developed countermeasure. Uh, joined Project Promenade as consultant after the death of Dr. Kim. Oh. Uh, the men are waiting for your input. I know, I'm reading. Uh, notable qualities, history of exhibiting erratic behavior, undiagnosed, but likely suffers from schizophrenum, schizophreniform disorder. Highly intelligent, received warnings of fracture from library. unknown female source. Serene brought down the whole building just to take out that geek. Uh, may have Still received cold, knowledge man. of Cronon-related monarch about operations. Will refuse to accept inevitability of end of time may lead to unpredictable behavior. Uh, we'll present the time when all exits are to be covered by Prowler team, Raider team. William Joyce is to be apprehended upon entry. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. Jesus. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Damn. We had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future, which made it clear that could change very soon. A civilian witness of core heist, uh, parents deceased, Ray self in teen years, his brother became distant, criminal record in Massachusetts, Grand Theft Auto, simple assault, attempt to rob or steal, left Riverport, never returned until incident, received weapons training in Laos, Light and heavy firearms arrested for weapons related charges in 2015. History of violent behavior when pushed, lack of respect for authority figures. Onset of fracture will render Jack Cronon enabled. So they knew that ahead of time. Um, Jack Joyce will present. Uh -huh. Approach Jack with caution, he will be Cronon enabled at this time. 
Chronon uh, ability is predicted not to, manif to not manifest until two hours after fracture onset. That's pretty wild. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. Uh... Paul, we need your decision. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Junction impacts. The junction power reveals two potential futures. Precision at each junction point will steer stories of both the game and the live action show. Uh, hold the show PR, hold the show hardline? Do I get to see both of them? Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on him, bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You Our secrets would be safe but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, nobody's sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. Damn! I all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And eh, control Wiggles eyebrows. <laughs> Wait, did I actually just miss the control thing? Hold on. Anyway, uh, yoink. Ah, uh, confirm choice. Choose the hard line or all the eliminated. Oh, they just said the word control. Oh, okay, I thought I, I thought there was like a tiny like control like, uh, control thing that I missed. I literally went back to look at the clip to make sure I didn't miss it. Um. Serene chooses the PR approach. You manipulate the media to frame Jack Joyce. I feel like that'd be like, the movie version of what would happen. Oh, I'm, I'm having a hard time here. Um, obviously, if I go with the first one, it makes Serene a uh, like pure all-out villain. Uh, if I do the second one, I mean, if he doesn't kill people, that's good. But then, obviously, he's like fucking with the media and like manipulating everybody, which is like in kind, like it's also kind of like. I don't know, it's better than like killing people, but at the same time, it's like, Ugh. um, fuck. Uh, I don't know. I want to see what happens with the the. We, we made a choice. We made a choice. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send what them home. Kind of character you want to make them? I'm not sure yet. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. 
I do like this. Do I do like this reasoning though? Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Ooh. Oh, interesting. It tells you uh, everybody else who's played the game have uh, done that. Interesting. Episode one. Is this the, like, did they craft a TV show thing out of this? Is that what the, the, it is now? I've seen the end of time too, bro. I like Chrono Trigger. Time's up. Is this live action? Dude, what the fuck? The one in the middle. I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. if I never, like, put my arm on her. I'm so glad we could work this out. <sighs> Would this still have happened? Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. Do we get subtlety? Nuance in this? Also, I can't believe we get a whole fucking, like, show out of this. Like, what?
Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow. God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girls' video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post the letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I'm I've hacked into his camera. And I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello, man. I'll well, let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. <laughs> Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Wild. How long does this go on for? <sighs> Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... Wait, does this like literally go on for this long? I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> These big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. What happens if I skip this, though? I have to get back to work soon. Until the end of time. I'm down to watch this. I just like. More than any Kind of feel bad there's no gameplay now. Field manager. <laughs> Maybe you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, being, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what is um, it? What? <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> What if he just disappeared? Poof time! Uh oh! Is that work calling? It's okay, go.
Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Let's keep going. Scott Eastwood? Question mark? technological frontiers beyond anything mankind has seen. Along with its innovative research and design programs, Monarch has sought out investments within the city of Riverport in order to rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse oh. over the past. Oh shit, what the fuck? Is this literally and like a whole like 40 minutes? What is this? To further their dreams and interest in their dreams and in technological research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future this being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Hold. There's been Quantum a break, baby. Jack. You've already seen it. Tonight on the island. He'll be there. And he'll want revenge. All and right. Stopped. Real quick. Oh, shit. I did not mean to skip that. Um, whoopsies. How do I go back? Uh, wait. How do I? Oh, no. I accidentally skipped it. I didn't mean to. Can I go into, like, the actual, like, episode? How do I do that? Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Shit. Monarch operatives transported you from. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um. Oh, episode one. Okay, there we go. Oh. It was at this moment <laughs> that he knew he fucked up. Thank you, Savage. You've been the face of Monarch. All of us. Okay. I want to watch the rest of this. But give me one second. I want to go get some more food real quick. So give me give me two minutes real quick. Uh, so I can get some, like, rice and stuff. Uh, BRB, don't go anywhere! I'm actually really... This game is so awesome. I'm, like, not even joking. Uh, BRB.
<laughs> of course I come back and there's a clip. Oh, thank you, Savage, for the clip. What's up, everybody? All right, we're back. There's an interest in technological research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is. I didn't know there was... Honestly, I didn't know there was a whole TV show aspect been a to this. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. Live action now acting in wardrobe. Amy yeah. Ferraro, right? Yeah. On the sea. Amy this is wild. What is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person. A terrorist. You baking the next sandwiches? Sounds like a terrifying thing down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. I was over in the lab at the university this morning. Oh. Someone solved the equation. We got a symbol. Huh? We got a symbol. Yeah. Things are happening. Our security forces have teamed up with local police to hopefully expedite the search for Jack Joyce and keep the people of Riverport safe as this very unsettling story continues to unfold. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. <laughs> I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. <sighs> it's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Uh, we can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, Who would know 411 these days? Maybe I'll go True. naked. True. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. Buddy. Mm. Oh, has he got a little monarch crush? <laughs> Kind of a CW show. <laughs> Liam, this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. 
I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away, right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. I don't think that's her. No. No! Gosh, he's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what? The of end time, of what? Of time, They're kind of similar, of time, but... Of life, as we know it, the entire universe, is gone. It? And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol. And it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just no, took down right half now. my men. Right. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! She just looks a little different, uh, obviously, later on. You. Down! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Sandwich. Oh my god. I think it's fucking huge. Thanks, Fiona. It's disgusting. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Lambert. Oh. You didn't see the other part. Gotcha, buddy. Patch is gonna love this. <laughs> oh shit. The fucking golden boy. nothing there he like he just wasn't there like or what no hatch he um he reassigned me he wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island he thinks oh. joyce might go there he sent me here to get access to it can you help me out yeah sure let me uh, let me see what i can do thank you you know it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on joyce was no good because Oh, uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me. Cause I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm gonna do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's gonna do to you. In about 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 
Ten. Good luck, buddy. Nine. Eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B, near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shot, we are free of charge, get him in HR. Structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Come on, you got this. Episode. What the hell? You weren't kidding when they were like fucking episodes of television. <laughs> Jesus. That is incredibly fascinating. Oh my goodness. Um hold on. Oh, sorry. There we go. Do, 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 do. 
I'm sorry, I was just checking to see if... I'm down to play a little bit more. And then, uh... Might, uh, switch over to, like, some Evil Dead or something. Let's talk about the Dry Dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the Ground Zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You've three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. Mm. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. Collecting Chronon sources allows Jack to upgrade his powers. Um, active pulse uh, time stop. Increased strength. Uh, cost is one. Using time dodge and time rush will temporarily uh, reveal enemy positions. Oh, dude. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Focus time uh, will last longer. Oh, the active pulse sounds cool as fuck, though. I like that. That sounds cool. Do I have any more points? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, I guess I can't run up over there. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. The old industrial area. Why am I here? All the way forward. Nice. Well, that's weird. Dude. There's gotta be another way in there. Okay. Doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind oh, them. Oh, I know what I need to do. Oh wait, can I not do it while I'm on top of it? Obviously, I need to get on this. How do I? Uh. 
hold, please. I mean the double the dash jump or whatever the fuck. So it doesn't let you do it while you're on top of there? I'm so confused. Oh, wait, hold on. Chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. That chart was the first sign. Monarch had built an entire PR campaign to protect their reputation. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. Uh, what about build Jack up Joyce? protest leader with criminal background. Terrorist activity lost control, crime. dangerous criminal. Don't News leak, confession to media. Uh, fear tactics. At the gala? Threat containment sure? leader. Positive. Choice transport lessing, entering ground zero perimeter. Insider suspected someone is helping Jack Joyce find and terminate. Uh, this is like a timeline. Reveal CFR to reassure investors? Chron Chronon harness, civilian prototype. First weapons test on Chronon saturated individual. Dr. Kim Lab have specimen ready? What? Why is his face that image? Why is his face that image? Hey, Jarheads, just got a word from Martin Hatch. Apparently, our almighty overlord. Uh, Paul Serene has given the green light to our PR proposal, implementing a broad stra PR strategy to deal with the uh, university operation. It means you will all be working with me directly for the next several hours, whether you like it or not. That's directed at you, Dave. Wow, we got personal. Uh, first up, news broadcast. I've skimmed through the list of witnesses uh, and marked the best candidate to deliver our confession, Amy Ferrero. Perfect mix of hot and sad puppy. What the fuck? This dude is a jerk. Uh, media will eat her up. Screen, green screen and recording equipment are being prepped as we speak. Um, the video shot delivered to me within the next half hour in order to get it to media in time. So get her ready for 15, her 15 minutes of fame. Somebody needs to take the fall, right? Uh, the device that Monarch stole from the university, but Charlie isn't allowed to know any further details about due to his security clearance. Uh, clearance. Has been airlifted to the ground zero operation. Our agent covered covert transport for your eye in the sky. Also, I want security clearance upgraded once this shit calms down. Level 4? Bullshit. Still searching for Joyce. Transport disappeared after entering the ground zero perimeter. Taking through our hundreds of camera feeds to see if anything came up. Even if we can't locate them ourselves, it's not like Joyce can go anywhere without somebody spotting them once Ferrero does her thing. Liam Burke is leading the search party on the ground. Five dollars to anybody who can make Burke smile. Um, I think that's all I can get for right now. Yeah, he's, he's a total bro. What's Reaper Squad doing with those video cameras up in A3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that, and Amy's gonna tell him the protesters were behind the whole thing. You honestly think that's gonna be enough? We got a hell of a lot of noise out there. Pasta! It's him! He's here! HQ! Friendly down! Over! Yeah, coming.
more. Looks like the only way out of here. There's got to be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. Mm. All right, so we gotta go find a generator real quick. Generator? Nope. Literally be this thing right here. There we go. The hell is that? Why is an earpiece Hello? vibrating? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth. I'm You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a monarch clonin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm. No, at. Jack. The fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he. Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this. And I'm gonna find We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Now imagine doing a live action bit of the player running around the level aimlessly. <laughs> We've all seen that video of like the guys in like I think it's like the dudes in Japan who like run around acting like video game characters. It's the best thing. It's so good. It's too good. I, I like died when I first saw it the first time. I was like, these guys are fucking awesome. I love it. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done, so to be. Dave will feed you the line. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. You know me? What's going on? I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? 
What is this place? They Martin forced me to make false confessions Cronon? for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Uh, from Paul to Sophia Amaral. Yes, the fracture has begun, and yes, it will take its inevitable course. But you worry too much. I understand your concerns, but our preparations will be ready by the time it has run its course. Keep in mind that I've seen, been to the end of time. I've seen how this plays out. I've taken every precaution necessary. Now we just need to make sure that the pieces Mark fall into place. Doing something, but this is completely fucked up. Uh, we cannot cancel the gala tonight. The team needs the reassurance that our plan is moving forward without further complications. Even those who aren't aware of the lifeboat protocol need a guarantee that their efforts are not in vain. They need to know that I am in control. The university was only the first step. Now the real work begins. Moment uh, finishing at ground zero. I will head to the island for my treatment very soon. I couldn't have done this without you, Sophia. Uh, to Paul, the fracture occurred at exactly 4.15 a.m., just as you predicted. However, the stutter seemed to be occurring at an alarming rate, much more frequently than we expected. Uh, I just wanted to be sure that the timeline you proposed grants us enough time for what must be done. You didn't receive your treatment before you left. I can't stress how important that is that you continue consistent treatments or the efficiency will dwindle. Can't afford uh, for your sickness to intensify. Not now. Please come to the island. I'm worried about you. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. <sighs> oh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. All right, we're gonna go for a leg a little bit longer, but I they think we're can. gonna Trust head out me. soon. It's locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. They're blaming you, Jack. I'm Paul Scapegoat. This isn't good. Hey, it worked. Nice. Wait, somebody has to hold on. Uh, hold it's on to it. Holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed. Wait, so what? Oh, I have to dash, don't I? I think you need to get to this side of the gate somehow. Oh my god. You just. You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, something new to look forward to. Multiple versions of yeah, it? I thought I was losing my mind. <laughs> Get when dashed I saw on. That. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Uh, how do I get up there now? Okay, if we get onto this thing. <laughs> that little kick against the thing is so funny. Um. Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. 
So unless he's the Dookie Hauser of corporate America, that's impossible. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> what? So Paul founded Monarch. Hit. All right, we're, we're on our way. We're cruising. We're cruising. Need to get up to that open window. That's a problem. Yeah, that window's pretty high up, but I think it's the only way in. How do I... How about that window? Do you think you can get in through there? How, how the fuck do I... <laughs> Is that another one of those rewind things? <clears throat> so now I have to go all the way back up. I can't believe you broke the roof. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got a huge ass. What do you mean? Jack, the window. I know. Quit yelling at me. <clears throat> okay, so I gotta remember to do my like little. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. What the fuck? How did I fall off that? I did not. I was aiming to jump into the thing. Okay. 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 Obviously, I will just run up to it and not jump at it. Starting to get the hang of this. All right. Made it. Now to get to that door. Nice. Uh, from Jill Construe to regarding Hello. Jack Joyce. Yes, I did. Uh, it's all rumors and conjecture. From what I hear, I wasn't at the university op, but there's no way Joyce took out all those guards. He's just some random guy, not a trained assassin. Stories floating around make it seem like he's shooting laser beams out of his goddamn asshole. Anyway, they got Liam Burke hunting him down right now, so I think it's safe to say Joyce is fucked. Off the record, I heard Paul Serene has been investigating a potential traitor within Monarch. Someone has been accessing all kinds of confidential information. Remember that research Dr. Amaral was doing to find a permanent cure for a serene sickness? Rumor has it somebody sabotaged the tests. I had to start over. Just a few weeks ago, later, uh, the uni op goes sour. Willing to bet the same person sabotages sabotage there. Uh, to Gil from Ashton. Were you with the Prowler unit at the uni? Hearing all kinds of rumors that Jack Joyce took out seven squads on his own. I'm saying he's Cronon active without any kind of tech. I Hearing mean, stories about him freezing operators. <coughs> Disappearing into thin air. I even heard one about him being in two places at the same damn time. I thought it was all bullshit, but we got word that his transport went missing after it entered ground zero perimeter. How the hell does that happen? We got reason to be alarmed? They ain't telling us shit over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finally. Good work. Mr. Serene's chopper is in now for make this right. Are you? This is HQL. I'm gonna use the terminal up here and try and Char dig up what Monarch's really up to. The operations sure, Clarice, listen. Hatch told me to search for Joyce. I've got footage of Bert taking out a guard in A1. Back of Monarch truck was left open. Now I'm checking cameras in A3 and guards are either sleeping on the job or, you know, not sleeping. There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. With a trajectory towards kicking over some expensive I'm so sorry, Jack. They forced me to do it. I know. Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. That map over there should help you figure out a route. Ground zero. 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 That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. <laughs> okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. 
and be careful. Still no word on Joyce's location. Oh shit. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Press and hold mouse three to charging time to blast. Hostile! Holy shit! Here we go again. Time, motherfuckers. There he is. Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile. Uh, mother. time I've died in game. Uh, fuck, I was trying to grab the shotgun and I couldn't grab it. Obviously the shotgun's probably going to be way more effective against this big guy. Fuck, that was kind of hard to run around there. Because there's so many of them. Alright, um... Shotgunner advancing on hostile. Mother. You want to talk this out? Shit. Impossible. Oh shit! Blast I just fucking out. lit him up. Move up to play! 
dick. Pick up one at a time? <gasps> no, I got them all. Let's go! That's messed up, man. Listen, I just had to be I just had to do what had to be done. Time to move. Well, I did it way better this time. <laughs> Just turns out I had to, like, you know, do the cool shit. All right. idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Uh, do I have to activate another generator of some kind? Mm, there's a thing that goes over here. Is there like a character menu that I can pull up? I know there's like the tab thing. Uh, like, you know how like in control you can pull up like the lore and everything? Like, that, I want to do that here, but like it just kind of like throws you forward. Uh, to Beth Wilder from Liam. I'm starting to grow suspicious of what's going on here. I have a hunch you feel the same way. I've been allowing uh, a lot of freedom to come and go in my position, but it comes at a cost of very low clearance. Most members of the team know something that I don't, and they're not eager to share. Tomorrow's operation is more than a simple retrieval mission. Uh, there are dates and times more detailed events that are expected to come to pass. I've been uh, I've seen charts with fracture, 4:15 a.m. labeled. It's way too much of a way too much detail for a plan. Like it's all been mapped out. How? Something big is coming. I can feel it. They told us our directive is to protect our world from dangers that lie ahead. If that's so, then why do I get the feeling there's something coming that we're not absolutely not doing nothing to stop? Uh, and if everybody else knows this then, why the hell is nobody acting on it? I can sit back and watch if there's an even chance that this could put Emily in danger. Uh, I need to know more. Serene won't answer my messages. Hatch is a closed book. Hoping you're an open one. Uh, I've been monitoring company email server and found something interesting. Just thought you might want to know that your golden boy has been a bit snoopy as of late. Hey, just turned off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way. <clears throat> Think. It's George. Suck on this.
dude. That's so fucking cool. Jack? Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Paul's doing bad things. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Hello, I'm Dr. Sophia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Oh, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Uh oh. Uh, heavy burst fire pistol? Began to occur in a very small focused area. We now refer to as Ground Zero. Located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. Open fire! This resulted in perfect conditions for extraction. Okay, well that didn't go as planned. Uh operation you see today. How do I destroy it? Uh, super easy way to die. So now I just have to figure out how to not do that. <laughs> the factory is escalating more rapidly than Mr. Kareem had anticipated. Chronon levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Sure, uh, by Hello. second bullet to create a I'm temporary Dr. stutter. Uh, Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological eyes on target. Over. in the area Shit. of Myers. Ah. Ah. Chronon particles. Ah. Unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and close ah. area. We now refer to as Ground Zero, located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This results in an extreme information that the all of Monarch's chronon technology relies on these particles. Most notably, the chronon field regulator, or CFR, which is the only device that can ensure stabilization and of mass quantities of these particles. When the time is right, the entire supply of chronon containers will be transported from this location to the next only authorized personnel are to handle the containers directly. When these temporal anomalies become more dangerous, this place is destined to the ground zero perimeter oh, and there entering there. the yellow zone. This yellow zone is a kid from the university! The right no. I can't the see! The ground zero perimeter itself is able to be entered under any the red zone, where time no longer flows in a consistent manner and shifts with the wound. Only who have entered ground zero have never returned. Training levels in ground zero will slowly deplete until time anomalies cease to occur. For this reason, all harvesting necessary for sustained use of the CFR must be complete before the fracture learns its place. For more information, please refer to your information.
I think I just have the one left then? Did I, wait, did I not just destroy that? Yo, Techie Tech, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for the raid, friend. How was the stream? What's going on, dude? How you doing? What were you playing? Uh, day of vacay ends on a solid note. I hope so too. We're actually having a good time though. Uh, we we started playing this game, and this game is fucking awesome. Quantum Break, having a blast right now. Uh, grinding battle passes for Val and Apex. Nice. No clear exit down here. May have to head upward. Yeah, uh, Tech. This is like one of those Remedy Universe games, like Control and Alan Wake. So this like this game is fucking right now. This game is. It's got to awesome. be something I can use to get up there. Uh, send a quick, yeah, this guy has, like, time manipulation powers. It's so cool. Uh, send a quick email to make sure all the divisions of the Cronon R&D department are on schedule. As you know, Monarch will be moving to Phase 3 on October 9th. Uh, high-level milestone deliverables. Uh, by the end of Phase 2, we expect to have officially harvested enough Cronon particles from the Ground Zero operation to fuel necessary Cronon tech indefinitely. Control's been collecting e on my Steam library. Been wanting to play it. Dude, it's so it's my favorite game in the last 10 years. Uh, it might be a little difficult, but it is, like, the, the lore is, like, some of the most amazing stuff I've ever seen. Uh, all research regarding the CFR must be complete. The CFR must be returned to Monarch Tower. Prototype testing phase of the lifeboat should be complete. Alpha build tech must be complete for all armor and weaponry. Uh, please read the milestone booklet. Okay. Control rules? Yeah, control is, like, the greatest thing ever. Sophia. Is escalating more rapidly than Mr. Serene had anticipated. No worries, no worries. Do will lower to a point that she renders a lot zero of the same stuff in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the appointment before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sofia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances in the area uh... of Myrdus particles, better known as Cronon particles. July 4th, oh, is this one of those things? Unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small right, and focused area we now refer to as <laughs> Ground Zero, located within the Riverport <laughs> Industrial Zone. This resulted in extremely dense emissions of Cronon particles, creating the perfect conditions for extraction, <laughs> which led to the Cronon harvesting operation you see today. All of Monarch's Cronon technology relies on these particles. Most notably, the Chrome which is the only device that can ensure stabilization and regulation of mass quantities. Of All right, how do I get up there? When the time is right, the entire supply of Chrome containers will be transferred to the Monarch headquarters, where the CFR is located. Only authorized persons. Oh, I thought I could freeze it midair, maybe. With closer proximity when entering the yellow zone. Oh, I didn't know. Now it let me do it. The ground zero perimeter itself is never to be entered under any conditions. We refer to this area as the red zone, where time no longer flows in a consistent manner and shifts without warning. It has something to do with their future plans. Many who have entered ground zero have never from from Monarch higher ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. 
sustained use of the CFR must be completed. For more information, please refer to your employee manual. Thank you for your time. What does this do? There's nothing back here. There's a ledge there. <laughs> nice. Okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Looks like the trailer has power now. Case we lifted from William Joyce's car, laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, Shereen wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. The most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where uh, are you? Bruce Livingstone, I'm my, on my way screenplay. To dry docks. Oh, that's a lot of lore. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. Jesus I'll meet Christ. you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. That's oh, thanks for the probably not confidence. gonna happen. Uh, hey, Dr. Amaral. We haven't talked much, but I'm one of Serene's guys from Reaper Squad. Working around all this time tech stuff for Chronon Tech, you call it, I guess. Got me a real inspired story. I started writing this screenplay. Oh, no. This guy's gonna get fucked. Uh, there's a lot of science talking here. I want a scientist to check it out, make sure it kind of looks, uh, makes sense. If you mind taking a look, here's the first half. So this dude literally wrote a screenplay. That dude's getting in trouble. Amy, you okay out there? Shit. She hasn't responded. Uh, nothing changes, we move forward. The university fallout was a setback, but we can use these complications to our advantage. Uh, Paul is focused on th phase three. He's questioning if the dr there are traitors within Monarch, but I'm confident that he does not know where to look for them. I will make sure to shift the blame elsewhere. The gal is going to head tonight. This is when we make our next move. Take care of the preparations. Make sure Dr. Kim's lab is ready for detonation. I will make sure that Paul is sufficiently distracted for, as to not ask questions, uh, as to not question our involvement. Um... The university operation got far more attention than we expected. How does this impact our agenda moving forward? Concerned that Paul will be paying closer to attention to our actions. Locked. It's 
There's gotta be another way to get through here. And there's a metric fuck ton of. Oops, jeez. Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. Is it not gonna let me climb up? Oh, wait, hold on. Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. I didn't think it was gonna happen so fast. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. Got the word. Safeguard squad. Cover what the hell shot me? That was wild. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we were looking for. It was clear that the workshop was the center of the operation. I wanted to see what was in there. bit smarter about it this time. Back up approaching green zone. Engaging target.
experiencing signs of an incoming stutter. Dude. Call developed technology for his men to move through stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. He never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What is this? <laughs> what the hell, hell? What is what, this? Like an echo or something? That already happened. What is happening? All right. Um. What the fuck? Dude, this game is wild. Requested copper clad Niobium. Well, huh. there's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. 
We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, don't do this. Is he literally sleeping like right there? Countermeasure. I hope to God this works. Will. Weird, wacky stuff. It's gone. Something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Dude, this game is nuts, man. What okay, the fuck? dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Wait, hold on. Gotta get to Paul. Trespasser alert. Amy Ferrero is in the goddamn security station unsupervised. Uh, how do I know she's unsupervised? Because she's in the goddamn security station and she's digging through sensitive monarch files. No big. Uh, radio alert in effect. Remember Jack Joyce, the guy you, uh, you're supposed to stop? Uh, maybe get on that while we still have an operation left? Oh, we got a little time ripple. I refuse to leave while Jack's still here. I need to contain him. Paul, your condition is critical. A stress. stress. If you don't, if you receive, don't your receive your treatment, your treatment. You, know you know what could, what happen. could happen. Come to, Come the, to island the island right now. Right now. The, treatment the treatment will be waiting, waiting for you. Will you will be back in top condition by the time the gal starts. starts. I don't like it, but you're right. right. Always looking out for me. Ready to chop chop. No. You're not getting away that easy. There was something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. Hey! What was the cause? Look at was that! Was as well, or was it his time travel? The Sudden Stop, the final know. Alex Casey novel by Alan Wade. It didn't make anything you'd done any less hateful. There's our, there's our little connection right there. There's our little connection. Copy designed by the author and dedicated to Emily Burke. <laughs> I love that guy. Uh, I share your concern. Paul's treatments are becoming increasingly effect ineffective, uh, and I uh, hypothesize that the onset of the fracture will increase the Cronon syndrome's rate of progression. I'm trying to take a more calculated approach to finding a permanent cure, but Martin Hatch has shifted all the necessary resources into our tech division. Uh, I'm beginning to question his behavior. Every attempt I've made to discover a cure has been met with Martin's red tape. It does seem like they have two different objectives going on at the same time here. Or Martin's trying to take over. I don't know. I uh, began for work for Monarch in 2001, but I couldn't find any records about his past or any aspect of his life before then. Interesting. Uh, it's almost as if he just appeared out of nowhere. He's the only one present during the accident that claimed Dr. Kim's life. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I do wonder what his agenda truly is. Regarding your question, unfortunately, there's nothing of value in Dr. Kim's lab aside from Paul Serene's treatments and confidential files. Uh, let's find another way to develop a cure. Possibly for me to gain access to Dr. Kim's lab in order to search for any files that might assist. Uh... 
I'm concerned about the slow progress in developing a permanent cure for Pulserine's Cronon Syndrome. Uh, if I can perhaps buy her your key card. Fiona Miller. Hi, Chase. From Beth Wilder to Fiona Miller. Fiona, William Joyce is dead. Our only shot at stopping this thing is Jack. He can lead us to the countermeasure. Stop. Uh, hi, hi, Chase. Serene got to Jack at first at the university. Too much heat for me to intervene. He's being moved to ground zero. Following the convoy there, and we'll rescue him once he's transported past security checkpoints. Not going to be easy, but it might be our only shot. Keep Charlie Wincott distracted so he's not looking over the security feeds. Cover won't last much longer. You need to be my eyes on the inside. I agree you should check into Dr. Kim's lab and let me know what you find. You know, gaining access will be difficult, but with the gala tonight, you might have a window. Might be able to steal Dr. Amaral's card. I'll contact you once I'm on the other side. We're both saying that William and Jack Joyce have been detained. Did you manage to get to William first? Interesting developments over here. The team focused on the university op. I managed to dig through an old email correspondence between Paul Serene and Dr. Kim. Content of the messages is very cryptic, but before he died, Kim was running some kind of test from his lab. William's research and a device related to this were somehow connected to what he was doing. Did he know about the countermeasure? Uh, I think I need to get into Kim's lab and find out more, but this place has been re unrestricted access since he died. Not a lot of choice. If Jack and William are in custody, then that lab might be our only lead left. Not sure how to do it. I'm sure as hell can't just ask anybody to let me in there. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Damn. Uh, regarding Liam Burke's status, two Martin Hatch from Clarice Ogawa. Uh, given the recent event at the Dry Docks, and now see exactly what you mean. Clearly, you were right about Burke's loyalties being more fickle than they appeared. Of course, we have plenty of unanswered questions. To begin with, uh, I don't see why Burke would be involved with Joyce. There's no way he did it out of some kind of altruistic urge. There's got to be a, more to it. We know Burke didn't diverse Joyce's transport since whereabouts of that at that time are uncounted for. It, so it has to be somebody else has to be involved too. Uh, to Clarice from Martin. I understand why I consider Mr. Burke an asset to our future plans. Fortunately, while he's an exceptional individual, he's a less suitable for the kind of duties you have in mind than I may be, than may be immediately obvious. What? What's happening? Um, he's been trained as a striker, but Mr. Burke was disqualified and for good reason. The men we have chosen to be strikers have strict physical requirements, a certain moral flexibility, the kind of killer instinct you have to be born with, Cultivated to a fine degree, a ferocious knack for survival. Mr. Berg certainly has those qualities. He wasn't disqualified from the striker program because he lacked them or because he couldn't wrap his head around the technical aspects of the operating the technology. In fact, his performance was exceptional, so I fully agree with you that he's an impressive operative. Uh, uh, strikers, by their nature, have to be made aware of Project Lifeboat and its purpose, at least on a general level. That means you have to be able to accept its implications. Unfortunately, Mr. Berg has a deep attachment to his wife, and I'm assuming his unborn child. Uh, and the fact that if we brought Mr. Burke in, it wouldn't guarantee a spot for her in the program. To be blunt, we don't need any more nurses. I think I know what's... I think I kind of know what's going on here, but I'm not going to say anything just yet. We need Mr. Burke. We don't need his wife. Mr. Burke would never accept that, particularly now, that Mrs. Burke is pregnant. Therefore, it's vital that he doesn't understand uh, the nature and scope of the threat we face. For having him play a role in other aspects of future developments, I suspect that despite uh, seemingly immoral nature... Mr. Burke may have other qualms he's not consciously aware of. If he ever has to truly make a choice between conflicting loyalties, he may take a stand on principle and elect to act against his own best interests. That's not a chance I'm willing to take. Uh, I'm going to think about William Burke. Uh, like he said, bring Burke into the fold. Okay. So it's just a lot of the... It's always going backwards. You have to start at the bottom and re-up.
Uh, from Liam Manuel Peretta. Liam Burke, Psyche Val. First of all, I have to again register my objection. What you were having me do under the guise of a psych evaluation is a blatant violation of Liam Burke's doctor-patient confidentiality. The only reason I'm doing this is because you leave me in no other choice. Now, recognizing the world to come, our current rules and legislation, even our standards of morality, may longer be applicable. But we're not there yet. You and Mr. Serene are placing the long-term mental well-being of hundreds of individuals in my hands. And I'm telling you right now, if they don't trust not only me, but the system that we put in, put all of us in our particular positions, there's no way we can recover from it. Uh, on to Burke. Uh, my opinion that the man is a bit of a powder keg. He's under tremendous pressure. Uh, I understand your reasoning for pulling him out of the striker program, but what you've essentially done is instilled in him a sense of encroaching doom. Uh, there are dangers out there. There are men who are content to merely follow orders and let others worry about the consequences. Burke is not one of them. He doesn't know about the lifeboat protocol. Either way, the bottom line is he's in a hopeless situation. Deanna's given the parameters we're operating under. I don't know how to resolve this. Burke, you have a tremendously efficient operative, but we're, you put him in an impossible position. Speaking of trust, uh, I recommend you think about what I said in my opening paragraph, Martin. Our greatest challenge and greatest assets in the sub subjective years to come won't be technological, but all too human. Nice. We got lore, baby. Uh, what up, fools? I looked up Amy Ferrero. She checks out pretty much how you'd expect. Uh, not so being remotely useful in a world where you gotta work for a living. She's into this whole activist lifestyle. She signs petitions a week. Two petitions a week. Credit where it's due. She's pretty good at it. Kind of makes her perfect for our purposes. No boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't know which way she swings. Why doesn't she put that on the internet? Doesn't she know what that's for? Jesus. May want to make sure she stays on our side, though. Like I said, she's pretty popular with the rest of these people. If they get the idea that she's been screwed over, they might just get pretty mad. You have to know how these neo heavy bleeding heart hipster types are. Always up in arms about something. Holy shit, I'm glad I'm not in school anymore. Um... Chase, stop. I fed you, I don't know what you want. to the serene at the dry docks. Holy shit. Gotta move. Come on. Ah, what the fuck? What the fuck? How am I supposed to do that? Alright, so I have to get past the threshold. Okay. 
Okay, so I guess I can't... Normally I can dash like twice? I don't know, hang on, let me, let me try this again. So maybe I have to let it come down for do the first zoom, let wait for it to glitch down, glitch back up, and then Okay. Focus. Focus. What? Hold on. Okay. Oh, Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. Right now, I'm confused. But we both know it did. <gasps> now I'm confused. the whole reason for me going back here then We got kind of got that far. All right, I think we're gonna call it there, guys. Uh, we I think we figured it out for the most part, but uh, I'm assuming I think that's a good spot to like leave it uh, for next time. So, uh, whew, that was that was wild. Uh, GGS, everybody. That game, dude. That game is incredible. I love that game. That, that I'm already like big time in love with that game. Uh, GG's everybody. That was great. Thank you so much for everybody for being here all this week as I was on vacation. Uh, yeah, I just had a good time with Quantum Break. Holy shit. Let's find somebody to raid real quick. I'm assuming Janelle's on. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's see if anybody else is on. Real quick. Thank you for that. Uh, alright. I'll just raid Janelle. All right, everybody. 
Um, I might take. T <laughs> Thank you for the bit, Savage. Um, I might take. I might take Tuesday off. I don't know if I'll. I don't know if I'll stream Tuesday, but Thursday uh, might be a potential. Um, just you know, with everything getting back into the swing of things at work, I don't know how tired I'm gonna be, etc. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna read you now. There's the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, please join the Discord, please, everybody. Uh, and also, there are my socials. You know what to do. That's all I got. Thanks, everybody. Quantum Break's fucking awesome, dude. I'm so happy to be playing that game now. Uh, but yeah, GG's, everybody. I'll catch y'all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. When it, it, kills any, it kills, yeah, it kills anything that it attacks. Oh, okay.